Right, there's some major drilling going on in the background, as there is every day, because we are finishing up construction work on the house um, after, what, eight months? But it hasn't been eight months solid because of lockdown. But this is the last week and um, we've had a skip. I don't know if you call it a skip in the US. We've had a skip outside all that time and they're so big and ugly and they hold all the gross trash. And so um, that will go. And I think we might have a party to celebrate it leaving. I cannot wait. Some days I just can't be bothered to put on any makeup, but then you feel a bit like, yeah. So I've been trying to do just the basics most days. Just makes you feel a bit more confident. I love this perfume. It's Erin and it smells like summer. And I wore it last summer in LA, so it kind of gives me happy LA vibes. These I'm wearing every day at the moment. They are Daisy London, which is a really cool brand. Time for work. Moved into our new house, as you'll know if you follow me on Instagram and all the rest. Um, it's still locked down, although that's easing here in the UK, so it's getting better. Um, and I thought I would just show you a sort of day in our lives at the moment in the English countryside. Very, very happy to be here. Of course, we miss LA, but it was the right choice for us for sure. The house, we've shown you bits and bobs of. Um, this is our bedroom. And um, yeah, I just do a little, little day in the life vlog. I've got my um, cleaning kit here because my pride and joy, I bought this antique um, dressing table. Honor decided to scratch with um, a bit of metal wire the other day. So I'm trying to get that out. There it is, just in there. Um, using a bit of wax and polish. Anyway, here's where I get ready every day. And there are some of my granny's things and old photos and lots of good stuff. So life is very different having moved back, but it's also different for everybody. Um, it's been a crazy old time and still will be for a while. It's the new normal, isn't it? But I, I am very glad that we came back to England and we're enjoying the countryside and decorating has been so much fun. And Honor's now running around all the time outdoors, which is good for her. We miss LA, we miss our friends, we miss a lot of the lifestyle, but you can't have everything. And I think that for us as a family, I've had so many questions about this and the decision for us as a family, it was the right decision to, to come home. However, I can't wait to be allowed back on a plane to go visit. Just giving you a quick tour of our drawing room, which I think it's my favorite room in the house. It's um, very spacious. And that is actually a ceiling rose that was destroyed in a flood. And we managed to speak to somebody who used to live in the house, who said it was there. So we got a very similar one made. Um, and then these chairs you might recognize from LA, I had them recovered in a Lisa Fine textile before we left and then they were wrapped up and shipped. I actually got them at a flea market for 250 bucks <laughs> in West Hollywood. Um, this beautiful cocktail trolley or cart I found in London at an antique fair when it was freezing cold. I made my friend Sam carry it all the way back to the car. Um, and I just love having a, a fully stocked cocktail trolley at all times. Um, this chest is actually supposed to be in a bedroom, but I kind of like switching it up and um, putting it somewhere else. Um, these lamps here are India Jane. And that was my Grannies, I think it might have been my great grannies as well, actually. So, lots of colours being drawn together. The rug, I've layered this rug, it's from Ochre. This Ottoman we brought back as well. That was in our house in LA. It was in two or three houses, actually. Three houses in LA that I had. 
Um, and then this beautiful velvet sofa is from Sofa Workshop and they actually made it for us. It's just stunning. I'm to fluff that pillow up. I'm a fluffer, right. And, oh, I just love it. You sink into it at the end of the day and it's just so, so cozy. And I think having anything velvet is just really sort of luxurious. It's the original fireplace. And then excuse the mess, um, that is my desk. It's not always that messy, but I'm sort of in the middle of a million things at the moment. So that's that. I decided to put my desk, which I'm obsessed with, um, in the drawing room, which is traditionally where desks were. So um, I just love being in the biggest room in the house actually, which, because there's no TV in here, we probably wouldn't have used as much anyway. And it's got great light. I love the color on the wall. I hear more drilling. So I have been here for about four hours straight. And you know, when you're just like, I haven't got anywhere. All I've done is answer emails, do boring, boring tax stuff, and um, get up to go and look at pictures with Mackenzie and editing and stuff. It's one of those days but um, I'm starving, so I'm gonna grab some lunch. Time for a lunch break. This is our kitchen. We inherited the lovely Arga from the owners before, and that's actually not real. We added it, we had it made from wood to um, frame the kitchen, really, and bring it together. And then, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that that was a big source of contention. I wanted a little bar slash table to drink my wine at in the evening. And uh, Mackenzie just said that this, because it's a very narrow kitchen, there wouldn't be enough room. And uh, we did it in the end, and we're very happy with it. I'll show you a bit more. So it's a soft sage color. A bit messy, sorry. It's a beautiful day though. And then out there, we are just, finishing up the orangery. Hi Seba. And I'll show you in a bit. So Honor is asleep, even with all that noise, kind of amazing, I can't sleep through that. Um, we've got help a couple of mornings a week um, from someone who comes to look after her. So that means we can really sort of get on with work at the beginning of the week. Um, we used to have more full-time help in LA and I really missed <clears throat> the time with Honor. And so even though it's been a juggle, I'm much happier having a lot more time with her. Um, my parents come sometimes to help, so that's really helpful. And Mackenzie's mum too. Um, anyway, I am now gonna style a quick shoot with a brand and I need to make two summer looks that are very white, but very different. Um, so white, white. Um, jumpsuit, I think, and a white dress. Anyway, I need to do all this and shoot it before she wakes up. So I am absolutely in love with this piece. It's from Chirordo, which is this lovely, lovely brand owned by two sisters and my glossy cupboards as well. It's nice and sunny outside. So, okay, thinking possibly that. That is also beautiful, Heidi Klein. Oh, I'm so excited for summer. It's very rock and roll. End to quite a long day. Doing laundry, folding up the family laundry on the bed, which never got made today, which is my pet hate, but it is, um, that's quarantine life for you, hey? I'm actually watching um, Plein Soleil which loads of you guys recommended, not realising it's the original talented Mr Ripley of sorts, and it's brilliant. 60s Rome, what's better? We're learning to play tennis again, because I used to play a bit when I was younger. Why do you say learning? Pretty rubbish. You're saying I'm going from like third round of Wimbledon standard to like semi-final. This is the problem with you, you're so competitive. And I am a bit too, but I just like to sort of rally and have fun. 
and um, so you'll be doing the Raf and Nadal over here likes to just whop him. Tell, well, me, what, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Can I come between Rafa and I have the, the movement of face? Oh, right, so here we go. I'm really excited about this, but here we go. Come to Chelsea Physic Garden in the heart of London. It's about 400 years old, isn't it? We've got the two mannies, then this one. <laughs> and these are beautiful Victorian um, greenhouses. very special place and around here all the plants from all over the world used for medicinal purposes the hospital that is still here as well it's very special to have a bit of a day out be allowed to do that and i just can't you can hear traffic that's sort of the only reason you would remember you're in london Here, right here in Chelsea. You sure are.